I have a video today for you creating a layout for Spiegel Mom Scraps. Of course, this month, if you wa are um, watching all the videos on the channel and following us on Instagram, you know we are doing an 80s and 90s theme to this month. So my last video, I took a play from an old song. This video, I'm going to talk about my childhood. So I went online and I found some photos of some of my favorite toys from when I was growing up, which would have been in the 80s. And um, I grabbed some images online of my favorite toys and I'm just going to create a little layout about those things that I played with. Just my favorite things, not everything I owned or anything like that. So my plan is that I'm going to cut four pieces of scrap paper scrap paper to four by four and all the products I'm using are from an older from a stash kit that I created to go along with the rediscover your stash event that Christina and I hosted it just ended so my spending freeze is over but I still have quite a bit of this kit and I just loved it so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and um, keep it all together and keep using it so before I started and turned on the camera I went ahead and I added printed out um, typed up and printed out my journaling. So each of these squares that I'm cutting is four by four, and then each square, I'm almost creating it like a pocket, like I do with um, some of my pocket pages. So it's gonna have the title, the name of the toy, and then the journaling that I typed up and printed out on my computer. And then I have grabbed some supplies from Spiegel Mom Scraps, including this brand new sequin mix called Fairy Garden, which is gorgeous I love it it's so so pretty you guys um, it just has some beautiful beautiful colors in it uh, and then I'm also going to add I'm also adding from my um, from Sp the Spiegel Mom Scraps shop some felt pieces both clouds and hearts I think and then these cute little forged doilies so each of these cards is kind of like its own scrapbook page a little bit but at the same time, I wanted them all to match and go together. So they're not exactly the same, but they have the same similar colors and um, similar elements. So as you can see here, I'm just, again, the next little one is this little plush, my little pony. And I'm just adding, using these tiny little word stickers from Webster's Pages So for the one, longer titles. And... Um, here is that finished card. So same thing, just adding um, some coordinating embellishments and then finishing off with some sequins and felt pieces and doilies from the Spiegel Mom Scraps shop. So this is my rainbow bright, and this was the brightest photo I have. So I wanted to pull some of the brighter colors from this collection so that everything still matched and went, but the rainbow bright doll wasn't so glaringly bright. So I did that by using that little die cut that says fun which was an orangey color that looked nice with her hair but still kind of coordinated with everything um, I used some scraps from my fancy free 6x6 pad because those were a little brighter in uh, color than some of the products from the uh, Coco Vanilla Studio line and then I used that I specifically picked that um, six by six paper from Pink, Pink Fresh Studio that had the red heart on it um, so that you had a little bit of red on her card to go with the um, red in her in Rainbow Bright's dress and in her uh, she I guess in the photo of the doll sitting on like this red velvet kind of pillow thing so I didn't want there was really no way not to make it very clear but at the same time I didn't want it to be quite so garish. So that was our plan for that card. The last one, so this is a scrap and I decided to use it even though it had that little punch shape because I knew I could cover the punch up with my um, photo. And this is the last one. So the toys, let's talk about these four toys. The one at the top is a FIFO, a FIFO plush from the American Tale movie, which was my absolute favorite, favorite animated movie growing up. I had all the songs um, memorized. In fact, while I was making this layout, I was um, <laughs> I was singing There Are No Cats in America to myself. <laughs> so um, 
the one below it is a My Little Pony, but it's not the toy, it's the plush. It was a bigger, like, plush doll. I had a thing for plush toys when I was a kid. I loved squishy toys. I don't know. So the three on the side, of course, is Fifle and the Little Pony pl plush. And then, I guess, again, my, even though Rainbow Bright was a doll, like, she was like a stuffed doll. And she was squishy. And then this last one that I'm working on was called Baby No Name. And she was part of... It was like a promotional thing with strawberry shortcake and I was always that girl that needed someone diff something different so while my sisters were all about like strawberry shortcake and everything I was like Ooh, I like the baby no name <laughs> and she smelled so when you squeeze her stomach she smelled um, which now seems kind of odd you know because this like scented air would come out of her belly like she was burping on you but it was like smelly <laughs> but at the time it was totally cool so I'm being very careful about where I place these four cards on my layout. I really wanted them in a grid design, but I wanted nice even spaces and I wanted a nice even space to put my title. So I'm just going to use my T-square ruler here to get them evenly kind of spaced up and where I want them. And I'm going to move the doily so it's on the opposite side <laughs> so that I have like so the doilies are even my space. And I'm just creating just a grid, a four square grid. Um, of course, it's not completely four squares because some of the embellishments um, hang over, but fairly close. And that was kind of by design. I wanted, I didn't want it to be super, you know, squared off. I liked the idea of things kind of falling off the edge of the cards. And so I'm going to use that little uh, space across where the T-square ruler is now, and that's where I'm going to place my title. So, my title. <laughs> you guys are going to laugh. Um, in this layout, my title has a special kind of... Well, you'll see. Hold on. Um, first, I'm... Oh, no, I am going to work on the title. Okay, so I made the title with two separate uh, fonts. This Toys, which is done in the font from... Um, Americraft's The Hazelwood Collection, and then The Childhood. And I was so careful and made it so straight, and after this layout was all over and I turned my camera off, I came back to it a couple hours later and went, I really don't like how that childhood just blends in there. So if you if you pop over to the Speaker Mom Scraps Instagram account, you can see, or my Instagram account, you'll be able to see how I pulled all those little letter stickers off and created my title completely with the gold stickers. <laughs> Oh my. So I attached this acetate word piece to the top and I attached a puffy sticker from Paige Evans to the bottom and here is my fancy fancy trick for covering up the glue when you glue down a piece of acetate and it has the, you know, you can see the glue through it. Cover it with sequins and enamel dots. That's my trick for the day. Just cover it with sequins and enamel dots. Perfect. Can't see the little glue place, the little glue things, and um, and it looks pretty, right? It looks like you added some extra detail. So uh, this is Shimmer's Glorious Days, and I'm adding some splatters. And I wanted some bigger splatters. So in addition to like the little spray nozzle, I also used the big um, my paintbrush to get some bigger splatters. And that will complete this layout. Make sure next time you place an order at Spiegel Mom Scraps, you can use my code for 15% off. And there's a look at how I changed up my title. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.